This is the biggest story on the internet. Did Baltazar and Konga use rituals in the woman that he slept with? The woman who has slept with over 400 women and has filmed the whole act. This leaves us with a lot of questions. Didn't the women speak out after getting dumped by this guy? Outrageous, isn't it? Did he make them sign an agreement to do these videos? What is wrong with these women in Equatorial Guinea? Does it make you worry as a man if you have a woman that is working in high offices? Before we continue with Ngonga, I want to tell you about Zimwave TV, Bloom Movement for Chamisa. This is a channel that focuses on current affairs and social issues that are affecting Zimbabwe. Please find the link that is in the description. Subscribe for content that speaks to Zimbabwe. And now, back to the video. This, what has happened? Does this number represent a trend of what is happening in modern day offices where marriages are on the rocks, women are having escapades in the offices or they have what are called office partners. The Attorney General has since commented that they are still investigating the issue to see if he has exposed these women to STI. Some have claimed to his, they have called him a legend. Some have said that he has got psychological problems. This has left us with so many questions that are unanswered, which we hope that when he comes out, he might be able to answer some of them. It is still early for us to call this, but there are people that are saying this man was using rituals to sleep with these women so that they can maintain power. Here are some of the examples that we have seen in the past. With Tiger Hoods, he made a confession that he had slept with over 100 women, which led to the demise of his marriage. Was that also to do with some rituals? Who knows? P. Diddy was found with a lot of baby oil, and the accusation is that he has used to amass his wealth. These sex carpets are, are associated with rituals. The South African businessman Edwin Sodi, uh, he was said to have been sleeping with celebrities to amass wealth. Could this be true? That rituals are used to make money. Or this is just somebody who is deranged and they have a psychological problem which led them to do this. You tell me what you think as an African person. Is he a legend to you? Do you think that there are some rituals that are there in amassing wealth? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section.